Welcome back. It's now 721. The annual What If Festival in downtown Colorado Springs offers a day of free, engaging, interactive, and exciting experiences. That's right. John Martin had to go check it out. He's a very curious soul. Good morning, John. Good morning. Yeah, I did have to check it out. Found out that it was raining, and now I'm ready to come back home. Uh, no, we're getting excited about the What If Festival tomorrow, 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock down here in downtown Colorado Springs. I'm with Emily now. Emily's from the Pikes Peak Community College. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing down here tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, as you know, uh, Pikes Peak Community College has a rich history of um, community service. Yeah. So this year we're turning up the heat and we're doing our year of service project. And we're focusing on the type of service we already do in the community and encouraging people to do more community service. Yeah, so you guys, you're, you're going to be listening to people's stories. Yes. Is that, okay, explain, explain what you're doing with storytelling. Right, so tomorrow we're going to have Pikes Peak Community College students come on down and help us record stories of service. So we'd like to hear if you've done service in the community or if people have done service for you. And um, we're going to be putting those on our website and yeah. our channel. So you're, you're, you're kind of giving credit where credit is due for for those who have done things for others, or if someone wants to talk about the good things that people have done for them, they come down, yeah. you, you talk into a microphone, Yes. and then that goes where? Uh, we'll put it on our website. We have a great website for our year of service, and also it'll be on our Pikes Peak Community College radio and television channel. And, and being part of the community, something like the What If Festival, where it's all about imagination, innovation, uh, and, 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 and community coming together, you were saying Pikes Peak Community College does have a history in, in doing that and being involved. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our students, faculty, staff, uh, we're all pretty active in the community and um, we're actually asking them to track how much they serve this year and put it on our website so we can show the ways that we serve and also show people new ways that they can serve in the community. And, and what do you find out about the people of Colorado Springs? They're, I mean, I, I'm from the volunteer state. Yes. Where that's, well, we're known to volunteer the volunteer state but what about the people in Colorado Springs in general I think we serve a lot I think that's what our project is for is to show people how much we serve and where we serve and then it can inspire other people to serve right. as well so yeah. you'll learn about new ways to serve we have a poster where you can vote on how much you serve in different categories if you commit to serving 25 hours this year you can get one of our year of service balloons yeah. it'll be fun a balloon. Well, yes. I'm All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Emily. Yeah. It is the What If Festival tomorrow from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock down here in beautiful Colorado Springs. There's 102 experiences that you can get hands on with Pikes Peak Community Center. We talked to Nikola Tesla from earlier today. It's just, it's going to be a, a day of excitement here in downtown Colorado Springs. Guys. Yeah, a lot of people out there with you this morning, yeah. John. I appreciate all the different uh, perspectives we're getting on this. So, good stuff. Thanks, buddy. Love